This is How to Souls. My name is Rach and welcome back to our Elden Ring walkthrough. Today we're going to cover Murkwater Cave, uh, which we did unlock the grace for, but we didn't actually do the actual cave. Uh, so we're going to tidy that up today uh, and just quickly run through it. It's quite a quick little cave. Um, as with any kind of cave, we're going to find a lot of uh, like crafting materials inside it. Here's our grace if you want to sit and, uh, and rest at it. Uh, in here we've got some cave moss. And also I guess it's worth mentioning it's kind of dark so you can equip your torch to see better in the dark. So first of all we're going to find these sort of wee hollow guys if we put our torch away. We can actually like sneak past these guys um, uh, by, by crouching with L3 and just avoiding these trap, these little bell traps. If you walk through these you're going to make a noise and they're going to hear you and they're going to come after you. So we're just going to sidestep through those, just stick to the bushes and see if we can get the drop on these guys uh, when he runs back that way. So, yeah, I mean, they're not particularly difficult without the element of surprise, but it's good. It's a good place to practice the element of surprise. If we go ahead and continue straight, we've got another couple guys that come out. So you can deal with these with your sword or with your pyromancy, whatever you're preferring at this stage. Uh, he did throw a poison, like, flipping poop bomb at me, so now we're poisoned, but not too bothered I suppose it doesn't do terrible damage just do keep an extra careful watchful, watchful eye uh, on your health he dropped a dagger and he dropped some bolts let me just have a little drink here uh, so at the end of this corridor it's a dead end but it does have a chest uh, that has a mushroom inside it five mushrooms Ooh, how generous five mushrooms incredible uh, so again just crafting materials that we're picking up in this cave here uh, if we come out and stick to the left, this is actually how you're supposed to progress through this cave. Again, more cave moss to pick up. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. And round here to this golden fog wall. So when we go through here, there won't like immediately be a boss fight. Which might be a little conf confusing. Like, oh wow, I thought there was supposed to be a boss here. But if you go over to this chest and think, oh wow, treasure, I guess it's free, guess it's for me. I can't believe you would just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, guys. Who do you think you are? <laughs> so this is Patches. Only thing to note about Patches is that I guess don't underestimate him because he spits flipping acid. Uh, he does have a great shield, which is pretty great. Um, and his spear has like really good reach on it. Um, and he's almost killed me because for some reason my jump attack didn't work. Uh, when you get Patches to about 50%, there we go. Which we've done in two jump attacks. Um, but it might take you longer. He's going to cower for fear and beg for mercy. You can kill him if you want, but if you spare him, he's going to become a merchant and also have a quest line. We're a lady of reason through and through. It's true. So we got a golden rune. Wow, a hundred runes. Incredible. <laughs> and the grovel for mercy emote. And also have unlocked his quest line. Yes, so we're actually both tarnished patches. Good to see you. Uh, do you want to forgive and forget? Well, really, some things can't be forgiven. He attacked us. He tried to kill us. But for the purposes of, you know, suppose we better play nice and uh, get what we need from him from future quest lines. We're going to forgive and forget. And then he introduces himself and becomes a merchant. So he's ready to wheel and deal. I uh, don't think we can trade with him now. No, we have to pop back. So what we have to do is we have to literally return to the entrance. I told you it was a quick little cave. <laughs> um, yeah, return to the entrance. And then if we go back through the cave again, uh, I think just for good measure, I'm just going to rest at the grace because I think returning... No, nah, returning doesn't actually reset stuff. So rest at the grace. And um, we'll head through again. I'm just going to literally just run past things if we keep to the right and go around the oh, go around the corner. Wrong right, too too right. That was that was too far right. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh through here again. Right, here's the boss room. He's now sitting by the fire. If we chat to him. Nice of you to drop in finally. What the flip do you mean finally? It's been 30 seconds. <laughs> so 
the bandits. Oh, in his cave. Yeah. Yeah. There. That. That chest. There's. There's a new chest in the back of the room, huh? It's nothing too special. Mm. So he's tricked us once. So the spoiler alert: that chest in the back there. Don't open that. It's a trick. It's a transporter trap, which. Uh, you don't want to be caught in, so don't worry about that just now. So he will buy, he'll also sell. Sorry, he will, wait, you can buy from him, but you can also sell stuff to him. <laughs> Notable things to point out that we're going to have to come back for because we're poor at the minute. Gold pickled foul foot increases rune acquisition from big bosses. You want to pop one of these just before the boss dies, get tons of runes, like 30% extra runes or something. Pretty cool. Uh, Margaret's shackle. Expensive but worth it for fighting Margaret, our first major boss. We're going to come back and buy that at some point. Um, Grace, uh, Stone Sword Key. That is an expensive as heck Stone Sword Key. 5k is really expensive for a Stone Sword Key, but it's there if you are desperate. <laughs> um, and also the missionary cookbook. So if we press square on this, um, this helps you learn how to craft for yourself a Scripson Grace Mimic and a Gold Pickled Foul Foot. So it's worth picking that up for the, well, for the gold pickled file fit alone. And last but not least, a sacrificial twig, which um, if you have died and lost a lot of runes, or if you have a lot of runes on you and you're kind of nervous, um, if you equip this in place of a talisman, it will um, prevent your rune, ro rune loss, um, but it breaks, it can only be used once. So that's what that does. A couple other like weaponry bits as well. Chase for that. Um, but yeah, that's all to go over with this cave. Just don't open this chest. I mean, you can if you want, but just be aware it's a, tr it's a trap. <laughs> and that's where Patches is for when we come back later to buy Margaret's Shackle, uh, among other things. But yeah, so that was, um, that was, uh, that was that cave that I've already forgotten the name of. Murkwater Cave. That was Murkwater Cave. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like the video to give Torrent head pats. You can subscribe to see the next part first. And um, I love you. Thank you. Take care, Tarnished. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>